an odd size um, uh, Allen key bolt. Um, it's smaller, bigger than 316, so smaller than quarter. But luckily, I've got this um, Watsco set. Uh, it's apparently 732s. disconnected. Now I've taped them up, although it's powers off, but I've just taped them up to be safe and I've labelled them um, what, where they come from. It's a, it's a multi-core armoured cable and the lettering's worn off. Um, so anyway, that's labelled. Uh, pipes are disconnected and taped up. Um, did we take that one up? Oh, we've got the valve that's taped up. That's taped up. That's the discharge valve. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but that looks like it's something out of an engine. It's black. And this one was running, the head temperature was over boiling point because I spat on it and it boiled off. Um, it's still hot now, it's been off for half an hour. Um, so that's pretty cooked in there, which is the sort of thing you get when they're running out of their application. Well, they did, you know, the temperature ranges they're designed to run at. Um, anyway, if we get the chance, we might take this one away and uh, strip it down and see, or well, even while we're here, I might pop the head off and have a look. Right, got that um, old bit of steel I had lying about in my scrap pile, which is luckily only just about big enough. Um, I've drilled holes in it and I've had to slot those because they were right on the edge um, but the original bolts that hold that down I don't know what I've done with them there we are I've got really big washers on them so it's not going to hurt if they're only half touching um, so I've got to drill some new bolt holes for the new compressor in that plate um, and then once we've got it bolted down we can start looking at piping it up and uh, we've got a replaceable core drive to go in place of this and a new sight glass because that looks like it's full of shit. Um, I've got two liquid lines here, they've got two systems and they've teed the liquid lines like this so only, only one of them's got a dryer in it. Um, so we'll have to do something with that really. It wants to be teed after the dryer really. They should have teed it miles away down there and then move that solenoid. That's why they've done that. It's because they've had to tee it before that solenoid. Right, 
Right, I've got that bolted down. I've drilled and tapped um, M8 threads in that steel plate. Um, Say so he's messing around trying to put nuts underneath, and I didn't have any bolts long enough anyway. So anyway, that's bolted down. Uh, I'm going to run the discharge line up, over, and then join it onto here, and that gives it one, two, three, f um, one, two, and then three changes of direction as it comes up over. So that'll take some of the um, vibration out of the compressor and anything out of the condenser with it fans on there. And the suction I'm just going to run up, bring it over and then drop it onto the accumulator. And that's got a bit of give in it, so... Well, they don't really move much anyway, those, that type of uh, compressor. But that'll be enough to take the vibration out of there. Um, I've got an old electrical box um, for one of these, so uh, I'm going to mount that down just where that piece of wood is. Pressure switches have got to go back down there somewhere. I've got a core dryer um, which I'm going to sit down like that and that gives room to change the core. It's getting on to 4 o'clock now, I expect there'll be milking so uh, let's clear all my stuff out of the way because so we're actually at the exit of the parlour is where the ladder is. Um, we didn't get an early start because we were waiting for this one to finish running before we could turn the power off. Um, then the tanker turned up, and then you've got to wait for the tank wash to finish before you can turn the power off. Because we had to. There's no other than this this isolator here, which turns everything off. There's nothing individual to that unit, so you have to shut the lot off to work on it. Anyway, we've got the, now we've got the ends made off in there. We can liven it back up. So I've got a bit of pipe work really to do, hopefully um, tomorrow I'm going to extend these if they won't reach. A new bit of conduit and uh, five, six wires. Oh, I've got to sort of liquid lines out because they've teed it in the wrong place as well. I'll change that side glass. I keep hitting my head on this pipe, it's getting on my nerves a bit. We're back out here again, despite my better judgement. And we've got the hot gas discharge pipe um, piped in. Um, I've used a fitting on there because the inside of this pipe is full of carbon shit from the old compressor where it's been running so hot. So I thought to get a good joint I need to be on the outside of the pipe. And we've got the suction line linked over to the accumulator. And we're just piping up the dryer now two liquid lines on here, this one, uh, this one and this one, so I'm going to run them along here, put a T here, run this one along and up and into the top of the T and drop it down, then we're going to put a sight glass down here somewhere, that's some of the bits point there, then we've just got to vac it out and wire it and charge it up, Let's see how it goes. Right, I've got the dryer piped up now. Um, I've torqued those up 14 to 16 foot pounds. I've done them at 14. I've got two pounds spare then, should I need it? Uh, I suppose I could just tweak them up to 16 and be done with it, but they, that's what I've done anyway. Um, so, out of the receiver, dryer, and I've put the side glass up here. And we've teed the two liquid lines afterwards because before the dryer was only in one of the liquid lines so the ice builder never got filtered uh, it was only ever filtered when it was running on the tank um, got the LP and the HP switch to fit and the wire in the compressor um, got to vacuum it out, I've got to get an insole clamp to, I think, to sit on there, half inch clamp I'll just pick that up and sit on there um, wire it, vacuum it, charge it and run it up or, extend them cables as well. We've got about half an hour and they start milking and we need to climb up and down the ladder where the cows come up the parlour so I think we might end up finishing it tomorrow at this rate. That's the loft hatch or the 
doorway, I have to climb up a ladder over there, over these pipes. Roof beams are up here. Okay. 